Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, the thing isn't sped up. What could this mean? I'm sure you read the title of the video, and it is gonna be a art haul. And this is like my first time doing this. I'm a little bit nervous, um, but these are things I've accumulated somewhat over a few months. And okay, disclaimer: I'm not trying to be a show off. Uh, I'm trying not to be, like, I'm not trying to brag or anything. These are just things that I'm kind of excited to use and I'm kind of excited to share. And these might type, type? These might pop up in my videos eventually. Also, nothing is sponsored. As you know, I've, right now, as of my uh, recording this thing, I have 19 subscribers, so who the hell would sponsor me? And third, I bought all of these with my own money. And or they were gifts, so I'll be um, talking about them as we go along. So it's somewhat minor, though some of the stuff here is kind of expensive, and I don't remem remember all the prices anymore. But let's start. So the first thing that I bought with my money, and it was because I recently got a job. It's a full-time job as a designer in a company here in the Philippines. So I've been getting some income and not just my savings from allowances. So I get to buy stuff now. Woo! So this is a Rodia... Ah, uh, the glare of my lamp. Shoot. This is a Rodia uh, blank sketchbook. Let's see if my... There we go. So it's blank, obviously. There's nothing in it so far. The paper is very smooth. I'm kind of excited to use it. It seems pretty decent. Uh, continue. There we go. So the thing with this, I just tested it out. I think you can rip it here on top. Like there's a perforation here on top. And yeah, it is uh, 80 GSM, 80 sheets, I think. <laughs> Obviously can't understand. That seems to be French. Um, well, it doesn't really say, but they might, there might be 80 sheets of 80 GSM paper. And it's high grade vellum. I haven't tested it out because I still have a couple of sketchbooks I need to fill in, but this might be the next thing I will be using. Oh no, I don't have space. Oh no. Next is this cute little thing. This cute little verbs on it. Ah! It's pretty cheap. I got this for like 100 pesos, I believe. And uh, I needed some new notebooks, like general line notebooks to write on. And the cool thing with this is that it's half, it's half blank, half ruled. So I can draw stuff and write stuff and do stuff. Yeah. So those were the first batch of when I was still, you know, kind of new to the salary thing. The next big thing that I got, and it's sort of um, a guilty buy, or not really guilty buy, but it was it's not really needed, but I bought these. And this is the SH Figure Arts Body Kun and Body Chan. I got the DX set for Body Kun and the normal one for Body Chan. As you can see, I've already opened them because I'm so excited when I got them. But basically, they are. Um, posing figures and they're highly articulated they're over here I'll bring them out real quick please don't fall Ta -da! so this body kun which is the male figure as you can see he comes with a few accessories like a sword they have a stand to go along with them um, they have hands that you can switch in and out of so the DX set has a lot more items in them and a lot more hands, a lot more accessories and stuff. There's a stand and some edits for the stand that holds things together. And you'll, you have things like um, this is a laptop that you can pose with body pin or body chan as well for that matter. Uh, let's take this partition out real quick. We have a gun, uh, a tablet pen. If I can get up. these are tablets, supposedly a cell phone and another cell phone. So, body kun 
since he's made the exact came with this now let's try to put everything back together if I can oh no that's wrong oh come on I'll figure that out later so body clean is the male version so he can he's pretty flexible uh, he can't Indian sit or Japanese sit. It's pretty decent, but yeah, he's highly articulated. Kind of small to be honest. I was expecting him to be a lot bigger, but he's that big on my palm. And then Body Chan is kind of smaller than him to be honest, which is I guess they should she should be since they're supposed to be paired together, but she is around his shoulder height. And they're kind of small, but I mean, I don't really need a big one anyway. So Body Chan came with these hands. And the ones that are already on them. So they were a bit of a expensive buy. But I've been wanting to buy these two since the first release, which was in 2015, I believe. And it took a while for them to get to the Philippines and the it, it took a long time so I only bought them recently like super recently okay some other things yeah let's get these first so my birthday is coming up soon as of recording I might put this out as soon as I can so for my birthday I asked my parents to well, they asked me what I wanted for my birthday, so I asked them to get me the Fabriano watercolor paper. I've used it once, just to test it out a bit. This is 300 GSM cold press uh, for watercolor, 25% cotton. Yeah. So this was something like 400 something pesos, so it's a bit pricey for something so small. But I am. You'll see. Oh no, I encountered a dilemma. You'll see the speed paint for this particular art soon. Soonish. And that's how they look like at the back. You can write on them, you can send them to places. And I think they would actually make really good inclusions for giveaways. I mean, if you're someone who is famous enough to do giveaways or to send people your art, this is actually a super good paper. It didn't buckle at all. I mean, it bent a little, but it didn't buckle. There's no bleed through. And. Reactivating your paint is so easy. I am in love. And then this is the second paper that I got. This is a bit more expensive, I believe. Uh, this is almost a thousand pesos, I believe. I'm not really sure. Uh, but it's also Fabriano. It's the Artistico Aquarello watercolor, 100% cotton, hot pressed, 300 GSM. So I haven't tried it out yet. But the so this is a block, what you call a block paper, I believe. And it's it's glued on all sides except this side, so you can pull it out. So the intention for that is so that it doesn't uh, buckle or it stays in place when you draw. What should I do next? Let's go with the small ones. I want to leave the best for last. So I bought this generic. Well, it's not really generic, but it's a Dong A Dong A My Gel Zero Five Pen. I use it for stuff. I also bought the Pilot Color Eno 07 Pink Violet Sky... What is it? Skylight? Sky Blue? It's a pink, violet, and blue colored lead for my mechanical pencil. I bought this... Dong A. Oh, it's this Dong A rin pala. This is also Dong A. Uh, Ceramics XQ B Hardness. B Pencil 0 0.5 millimeters. Black, because I need black. And a Faber Castell kneadable eraser. Okay, as I mentioned, the best for last, right? So let's get these out of the way. Yeah. So, this was my graduation gift. If you don't know or if you didn't watch me a few months before or when I first started, I somewhat recently, like around nine months ago, well, ten, wait, they're about to graduate again, so it's around 11 months ago yeah 10 to 11 months ago I graduated from college uh, or university 
uh, it's the for here in the Philippines, uh, college and university is somewhat the same. It just means that when you're a university, when your school is a college, it has the generic courses for the tertiary level. If it's a university, it's much more diverse and it has all the levels for schooling. I believe that's just the difference. Unlike I believe in other countries, where college is like two years and university is another two to four years. I believe. Here, it just means it's the size of your college. So recently, graduated from university, and I, of course, had the graduation gift. And that's a thing here in the Philippines. I'm not sure about other countries. So, it was delayed because things happened and the money went elsewhere. That's a bit more important. But my parents finally made good on themselves, I guess, and bought me this. It's a favorite castell, 60 set. Polychromos. Now I feel a little unworthy because I'm not that good of an artist, but it's beautiful. I swear. Um, I I don't. <laughs> it's beautiful. So it's a sixty set. It's in tin. It comes with a paper that specifies the other products on the color chart. And here it is. Let's put this up. Ta-da! Now, I've only swatched them so far since I just bought this like two days ago. And it's so creamy compared to their classics. And it's just like beautiful. And I guess you're wondering why someone like me who's not not a beginner but I'm not no pro or no expert in art and I don't really have the following for my art. I, I, I tend to draw for myself. I don't draw for fame or anything. It's my stress relief. It's my from expression. So my parents felt that they should give, they wanted to give me that for my graduation gift. And it's sort of very hard because I technically finished two courses in college. Uh, I first graduated in 2014 and then I graduated again in 2016. And this is what I got. This, this polychrome was what they got for the 2016 graduation and they felt that they wanted to reward me with something kind of big since I I, I worked hard, they, they, they told me. Now, for the people who might be younger than me then that's watching, you don't need any of these. You can just use normal paper and be super good at the stuff you do. I mean, Seiji Senpai, who's a YouTuber here, I think he's Filipino as well. Seiji Senpai, he just uses the classics colored pencil and printer paper. But dear god, his art is beautiful. So you don't really need all of these. I just like these because I want to try new things and I have the money to, to afford them somehow. And I have very loving parents that tend to dote on me. So. Yeah, like you can do your art without all of these. Uh, you just need a normal pencil, a normal eraser. You can even just use your normal um, wooden wooden doll. But I guess art is my hobby, and this is the only thing that I actually really spend on, aside from like games. But I tend to spend more things on art, so I just do. <laughs> you don't need this. You don't need these. But they're just really fun to have. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm I'm sorry if I sound a little awkward. I'm not that well-versed in doing hauls. This is my first time doing them. This is the first time I had enough money to make a haul. Something worthy of a haul. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. And the next video will probably be another speed paint. And I'll see you around.